You're just gonna do a shot like this. Watch. I don't even know what eyes to put on you in the mouth today. We don't need a face for it. Deer's gonna be faceless for today because we're just gonna look at the set. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. If I look like crap, that's probably because I'm sick right now. I was sick all the weekend and I'm like, ah, oh, no, I just gotta come in here and punch out these reviews for you guys. So here I am in the office, nice and sick with the sniffles. But I'm gonna review a couple sets and maybe go home and edit them from home and just kind of just take a chill pill. Anyway, check it out, look. So this is from our lovely friends from Wangay, and I gotta say a shout out to thank you to Wangay for sending me this. You guys are awesome. They're gonna come out with a bunch of new stuff, guys. Like seriously, modular looking stuff. I can't wait. So this is the Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Notre Dame. Cathedral of Paris from Wangay, number 5210, 1,380 pieces. So this is what I call a pretty sweet build. I actually really enjoyed putting this together. Look at that, I'm gonna rotate it. Do, do, do. Rotation, baby. Wow. Wow. No, seriously, this set is actually really, really cool. The thing I did not like about the set is you can't really take it off. You can't see the inside. Once it's pushed together, it's flush, man. It's not too big. It's not too small. I felt like it was just right. I'm pretty impressed with it overall. So they used the same base plate as the Golden Gate Bridge, and I suggest you watch that here here, over here. If you have not seen any of the other Wangay architectures, go check them out. Some of them are hit, some of them are missed, depending on what you guys think. But overall, i have starting to like what they're doing. And I hope that they only just improve from here on out. Check out this minifigure here from another set. Ah ha 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 ha. You probably don't know what set this is from. That review will come later. Anyway, she's walking in with her, I don't know what that is, lollipop, whatever, balloon. You can see the size of the door there compared to her. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this, check it out. So looking along the front here, you got the blue windows and they're on both sides. Really cool, I like the transparency. I like that vibe. And I like the little arches here that come across that goes all the way around. It's simple, I mean, it's not like a crazy build, but look at this, this is like stained glass, it's printed. And I have it on both sides, very cool. I like that. If I had to really nitpick about this, it's just this part, it doesn't look like in the photos. I've never been there. Man, I wanna go to Europe really, really bad. I haven't been, I wanna go. One of these days, I'll make it out there. We'll do a meetup sometime, right? Whoever's out there. Down on the bottom, you have three doorways that go into this cathedral. You know, look at that. Look at the two towers that go up. They're identical. We come along to the rooftop here. The rooftop is very cool. It's, you know, it's very sturdy. No issues there as well. Surprisingly, no issues whatsoever, except for one small minor issue. So you see all the little circular studs here? Yeah, they're gonna actually pop off on you, especially when you move the set. Some of them just pop off really easy. Some of them are really, really loose. They're actually held in there by blue tack. Minor issue, it didn't bother me. I just put a little tape or blue tack and it, it holds into place totally fine. But otherwise, this set is so sturdy, look at that. So this is a set that you probably have to just look at it right now and be like, do I want it? Does it belong with my architecture set? Is it worthy to stand along some other brands? I feel it's actually pretty cool. So as usual, Wangye has a description about the cathedral. We're gonna use my sexy, sick voice and I'm gonna describe this cathedral and let you guys see all the shots that you wanna see. See if you like this set or not. See if you wanna go out and get it. It's up to you. Let's read it. Here we go. Notre Dame de Paris, meaning Our Lady of Paris. The lady is referring to Jesus' mother, the Virgin Mary Maria. I never linked the two together. Wow, interesting. Okay. Also known as Notre Dame Cathedral, or simply Notre Dame, Notre Dame. It is a medieval Catholic cathedral on the Le de la Cité in the fourth arrondissement of Paris, France. My tongue's not rolling off these words, man. I blame the sickness. The cathedral is widely considered to be one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. Ah, so it does have that goth look to it. And it is among the largest and most well-known church buildings in the world. The naturalism of its sculptures and stained glass are in contrast with earlier Romanesque architecture. And they even have a construction history. Here we go. To begin the construction, the bishop had several houses demolished and had a new road built to transport materials for the rest of the cathedral. Construction began in 1163 during the reign of Louis VII. Bishop de Sully devoted most of his life and wealth to the cathedral's construction. Construction of the choir took from 1163 until around 1177, and the new high altar was consecrated in 1182. After Bishop Maurice de Sully's death in 1196, his successor, Ouse de Sully, 
oversaw the completion of the transepts and pressed ahead with the nav, which was nearing completion at the time of his own death in 1208. A couple words, I don't even know what they mean in there. By this stage, the Western Facade had also been laid out, though it was not completed until around mid-1240s. Remaining elements completed around 1250 to 1345. Construction began in 1163, and the whole church was completed in 1345, which lasted more than 180 years. 180 years to build this sucker. This put took me like about a couple hours. It was really fast to build. You know, since I'm doing the close-ups right now, I might as well show you guys that there's not much to it here if I take this off. It's just like a little balcony piece here. So this will all come off. There you go. Oh, drop something. There you go. So I'm just doing this for you guys so you guys can kind of see that it really shouldn't come off. And I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. There's nothing inside. That's what it looks like. Anyway, there you guys go. This is the Notre Dame from One Gate. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Go get yours or don't get it. Enjoy the video. Anyway, I'll be back with more architecture. Until next time, break me out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, this thing fell off. How dare you? Oh no. On my nipple. Where's my tissue? If you haven't seen any of the Andre walk, but what am I getting at? And on the back here, wait, is this, is this the back or is this considered the front? Back, front, back, front. It looks like. Okay, this is the front because it's got a door on it. Yeah. I can't even remember the Disney cartoon. Can you guys remember the cartoon? I, man, I gotta go back and watch that too. Thank you guys so much for liking this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll bring you more. I promise you. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.